Hi, welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> welcome to the Roloff Kitchen. We're going to attempt to make a dinner here out of uh, one whole chicken and some vegetable soup. So I hope you enjoy. Two recipes in one. Okay, Ron went to the store the other day and um, I needed some chicken. So he says, I'm going to get a whole chicken. It's much more economical. So I'll show you what we did. We put it in the crock pot with no water at all. I'm turning it. Oh. No water at all. So you put a little salt and pepper on it. And that, uh, in fact, you may have to bring the camera over here. You can see how it cooked. It cooked wonderfully. And all in here is the fat that we're going to scrape out. In fact, I'll show you that. See this? This is the fat. It rises right to the top. Um, we cooked it. We put it in the fridge because we were leaving the house. So it just shows you you can just put, do things, you know, later if you don't get a chance to do it first. Now, I'm going to lift this chicken out of here. She hasn't come yet. Ooh, that's exactly what we wanted. We want some uh, that to come right off the bones. Let's see. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing rubber gloves. Did you notice that, honey? Yeah, it looks like you're getting ready to, to uh, uh, deliver a lamb when we used to, up, up when we were raising sheep. Yeah, I know. When we used to raise sheep, I used to use these rubber gloves. Now I found that I could get them at a um, hair supply place, and I like them for the way that you can feel everything you're doing. Ooh, that looks good, huh? It looks like a pre-processed uh, uh, chicken, doesn't it? I'm going to take the bones out. I'm going to put the meat over here, and I will be separating the chicken from, you know, all the things. But I, first I just wanted to get, what's that, hun? Yeah, it looks like a, quite a bit of uh, broth in there, huh? Gel? Oh, yeah, the gel is excellent broth. But uh, I don't like the skin, and, you know, most of us don't like all the nasty stuff. So if you took this out when it was just cooled, it would be a lot um a, a lot easier just to lift the chicken out. We just didn't get a chance to do that. Now, if you see what Ron was talking about, the gel. I mean, if you lifted it while it was a little warm. Yeah, when it just cooled and not being refrigerated. This is the gel. This is the stuff that becomes soup, and that's a very good sign of a good broth. Uh, the other day we made, <clears throat> we did this, and um, and I uh, I froze the little, uh, in, in a bag, little little hunks or spoonsfuls of the broth so we can put it into vegetables. Right? Okay. This is gonna uh, this is gonna be a short video because what we're gonna show you is just how we pick a chicken. Okay, yeah, maybe you want to come honey. Okay, take a look here. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through. You know, I don't like all the nasty stuff. That's the only reason. It's it's almost like a gameplay, in that um, Ron Ron puts this kind of stuff in there. That's that stuff. I don't care for that. I like them. What do you think about? Well, that? this is coming along pretty well. You want to see what I've got done, honey? Yeah, let's see. see what you okay, have. this is this is the, the clear. For the broth, yeah. there's the fat. Okay. This is all just throw away. Look at that. Just, just, no, just, not, just oh, wait, wait, whoa. Don't, don't throw that away. I, I can make a cup of soup out of that. that I just can't stand to see uh, uh, throwing anything that's edible away. It just okay. does something to me. Okay. 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 But look at this. This is nice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's real. There's nice chicken. And we can well, make you save that for the guests. Well, no, this is for us, too. This okay. is for fajitas. Fajitas? Uh, we're going to divide it up in little sections. Probably put it in little plastic bags. See, we have fajitas and we're going to make... Like a tuna casserole without tuna, and say we we'll use chicken. Oh. We could put in a little chicken soup with this broth here. Um, there's a chicken salad. There are lots of things you can do with chicken, but it's a nice way to get chicken. And it takes probably about a half an hour here, but it took no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And, okay. Um, I'm going to show you the final part. This is the good part. See this nice breast? Now, first off, there's some of this nice gel. You remember I talked about the gel that's going to be, that just kind of caught in the um, the neck of the chicken and now here this is the oh, breast meat pretty good just size. pull that uh, breast meat right off in big hunks and you know like what Ron would do is would just take he would take the breasts off and put everything else in a pot and then he would sort it later because I wouldn't be eating it he doesn't mind picking well, you know, up stuff. I found that uh, you could sort it in your mouth when you're eating it. <laughs> exactly what I was gonna say <laughs> That's one thing. you don't want to give this to uh, dogs because dogs something like that can splinter in their um, not in their throats necessarily, but in their stomachs. And you start having a dog having problems, and after four or five hundred dollars, which we've yeah. never spent because we haven't had a dog that that's happened to, but a friend did, and it cost them, I don't know, four or five hundred dollars to have surgery to get the bone out, and it ripped the lining of the stomach, and it was horrible. So don't don't go there. Don't give okay. your dogs chicken bones. They splinter too easily. All right, I think I'm done. Okay, we have finished. It's all. It's been really about 15 minutes. It just seems like a long time because that's a nasty job. These gloves really come in handy. Ron can't understand it, but I no, I think picking the chicken uh, with gloves on is very it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, okay, here's what we have as far as our chicken. Of one 
little cheap chicken. I think it was, how much did it cost? Uh, $4.50. $4.50. Um, a chicken, and there you've got enough meat for, as I was saying, you've got fajitas, you've got that, remember that enchilada uh, dish that I made? You can make um, a chicken salad, uh, you know, chicken salad sandwich. You can make a, an actual salad and put chicken on it, like make a, an oriental chicken salad. That's what you, that's where they get the chicken. You don't have to buy boneless chicken chicken breasts because this put in little bags for this, depending on the size of your family, you're going to get a pot of soup. You're going to get, uh, in fact, two pots of soup if you eat like wrong. And you get uh, several meals off the chicken. So I'll show you what we've got. This, at the end of the, the, uh, the bottom of the bowl, what I was working on, I added uh, the other little bits of chicken to, remember here's that clear, this is the clear broth. Yeah. So that's going to be for our pot of soup. And I have some leftover rice. I'll put a little celery in there, maybe a little parsley, a little whatever, and just make a nice pot of soup, a big pot of soup. That's, that'll be plenty for that. Then over here, I showed you the chicken. Over here is what I normally would toss. Ron loves this stuff. So he's going to take over from now and show you what we're going to do. And then our next recipe will be, before I wash this crock pot, we're going to make our vegetable soup in there. I can't feed my vegetarian friends in there. But... You know, some of you don't want to be bothered washing dishes in between. That's a big problem. Your kitchen gets too crowded. Keep this crock pot going. I had the chicken in there. We cooked it. Oh, by the way, we didn't add any water at all to the chicken. It roasted it wonderfully. There was all that nice broth. You don't have to put water in it. If you start it in a crock pot, we put it on high. It's still slow. It's so simple. Even Ron can. Okay, tell me what you're doing there. Well, uh, I'm, I see you have uh, some scraps that you really don't. Some of the bones, that, uh, uh, if they're in the soup, they're a little, they are discomfortable for some people to uh, suck the bones and spit the bones out. So, uh, anyway, we have a whole pot of uh, what I would classify as the good semi good stuff. <laughs> but I'm going to put some water in here. We're going to boil it. We're going to make it, we'll have enough soup for this afternoon. Okay. Okay. I think that Zach and Molly and Jacob are all, and maybe even Jeremy are coming by this afternoon. So, well, they're going to be surprised how. Uh, you know, and I eat it if you fix it, but I do have to strain well, it with my uh, teeth. Uh, I'll strain this for you, but uh, you'll be surprised how good. Of course, I'm going to have a little uh, spices in here, too. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be just chicken. That's one thing. Ron is a much better spicer so than I. I'm spice it up. Uh, might as well get this going now. Let me get my light on you there. We're dirt working in a dark kitchen. So you're going to turn up on high? For high right now. And then we'll just throw it. I, you know, what's in the cabinet? That's right. So I kind of look in here and just go, oh, but you know what? Uh, it may seem funny, but I like a little Italian season. And, uh, okay, so Italian seasoning. seasoning's a little sage, a little rosemary, a little yeah, thyme, so whatever. Okay. And then, uh, of course, I'm, I'm big on the garlic. I, oh, yeah. I like a little couple chunks of garlic. Well, that's those uh, dried garlic, those isn't dried it? Dried garlic. We'll yeah. those in there. Okay. And then, of course... Uh, you're you're a big fan of garlic. Oh, we've got a little onion too. I like uh, uh, a little onion and garlic, mostly onion though. And then I think that's just about does it. I'll put a little dash of pepper in here. You want to put salt? Oh, absolutely. Now let's see how much pepper you put in. Probably uh, a, a not much teaspoon. Makes it hot for some people. The kids mm -hmm. don't like uh, too much pepper, mm -hmm. so I backed off the pepper, pepper okay. a little bit here. And then let's see, we got some. We're gonna that sea salt. Okay, here's a little sea salt. So we'll, uh, I don't want to put too much. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. Would we'll you say that would have covered the bottom of your palm? Yeah. Okay. So we'll let this, actually, I put the high temperature on until it starts boiling, and then I'll simmer it down, and we'll uh, uh, put a lid on it. Okay. Uh, some people don't like to put a lid on it. If you, uh, they clarify it, you, they lift the, leave the lid off. But I don't mind if it's a little milky. A little cloudy? A little yeah. cloudy is okay for me. 